திருமுனை தர்பார் நேர்களுக்கு லாவண்யாவின் அன்பார்ந்த வணக்கங்கள் அகில இந்திய கல்வி பாதுகாப்பு கமிட்டி நடத்தின தென்னிந்திய மொழி பாதுகாப்பு மாநாட்டுடைய ஒரு பகுதியை முன்னாடியே பார்த்திருப்பீங்க இந்த காணொலியில அந்த மாநாட்டுல துவக்க உரையாற்றிய கல்கத்தா பல்கலைக்கழகத்துடைய புகழ்பெற்ற புவியியலாளர் பேராசிரியர் துருவா ஜோதி முகர்ஜி அவர்களுடைய உரையை தான் பார்க்க போறோம் பாக்கலாமா my friends from all corners of india it is indeed great that the this south zone language convention is combined jointly is combined by the joint effort of four southern states who have organized this program and combined their combined forces has made this convention already very well attended Firstly I must apologize to all of you that I am unable to speak in any one of the four or five south indian languages so I will give my talk in english the all this program uh, is uh, stemmed from the recent proposal of the central government to replace english in different spheres of education and government activities to replace english by hindi and we think that this would be a very disastrous policy for the unity of the country and for the education system of our country language is a very important part in the life of every population we know that the language is the vehicle of thought so you cannot have hard thinking without a highly developed language also and this is where the the policy would strike at at this point only you know that language is a part of the culture and people have very strong emotions about their language we have seen the language movement in tamil nadu many years back and we have also witnessed that even a liberation war of a country was based on the basis of an attack on the home language and the birth of bangladesh was on the basis of a struggle for their language so for a multilingual multicultural country like ours our language policy should be framed with appropriate prudence so that the unity of the country is maintained and all the different languages of india shall have the opportunity to fully develop and have their place of honor among the community of the nations so uh, first let me make it clear that we are not against hindi we are not against any language we are in favor of development of all the languages of india including hindi what we are objecting to is the imposition of hindi in place of other languages now the language policy has got several aspects to it firstly about the medium of instruction what should be the med- what language should be the medium of instruction all india self education committee firmly believes and which is supported by all scientific researches and all the great men they think in the same way that the medium of instruction up to the highest level must be the mother tongue there is no doubt about it so in every part of india the students should have the opportunity to study in their mother tongue up to the highest level but to convert to the mother tongue there are certain conditions to be fulfilled those conditions are there must be adequate number of books in the particular language 
to impart training up to the highest level. Secondly, there must be the adequate number of teachers who can impart the highest level of knowledge through the mother tongue to the students. And thirdly, the language itself must be developed so that it is capable of expressing all the higher scientific thoughts and philosophic thoughts and all the human branches of knowledge through that particular language. Now judged on this yardstick of these conditions, I think you would all agree that in our country these three conditions are not fulfilled by any one of the languages of India, any one of the nationality languages of India. So we have to retain a highly developed language in, like English at least for our higher education. But we should not stop by saying only this, we should demand that the government should take adequate steps immediately so that proper conditions are fulfilled for imparting education at the highest level to, through the mother tongue. Like as I mentioned, like training of the teachers, like writing books, translating journals, etc., etc. So unless these conditions are to be fulfilled, if hastily we replaced the medium of instructions through the mother tongue in any language, what will happen? That the students will get a degree, but they will, their level of knowledge would not be up to the standard where they can be compete with the students of the similar level in any other country of the world. So, just to change the medium of instruction through a stroke of pain or through a government order, without making the appropriate conditions for imparting the uh, higher thoughts through the particular lang language will be disastrous for the education system of the country. That is why we are objecting to the imposition of Hindi. I know that there has been some attempts to impart higher science training and higher uh, medical training through a particular language but, and some textbooks also may be hastily written for that, for this purpose, but that will only lower the standard of education of the students who are passing through such a system and shortly prepare textbooks in a hurry. So the next point is that for a country like ours, what should be the official language for the conduction of the government works in the national level and for the communications with the different states and for between the states themselves. So English has been serving this purpose for a long time effectively and if now we replace English by Hindi or any other Indian language at this stage to replace the, that the sole official language, it will be highly discriminatory. It will hurt the sentiments of the people of other communities, of people other linguistic communities, and it will only foment fissiferous tendencies in the countries. This we cannot allow in any circumstances. So we should not have a policy which see, uh, foments disunity among the people, hatred of one section, one linguistic community against another linguistic community. This is not what the language policy should do. And this, this is what the proposed policy would lead to. And we must resist it at all cost if we are to preserve the unity of this country and if we want to uh, advance the level of education, the level of uh, the cultivation of knowledge in our country. Now, 
this i'll close by I, uh, end by um, uh, just briefly uh, mentioning one point that uh, what is curious is that why is the government or the rulers present rulers are so bent upon um, introducing hindi we must realize that this emphasis on hindi is not just an isolated phenomenon it is a part of their agenda to have extreme centralization they have openly telling one nation one country one religion one language so extreme cent centralization which will open only to the open the doors to the uh, incursion of fascism in our country so this uh, policy will uh, has to be resisted at all cost it's a very dangerous policy it will disturb the unity and enmity among the people linguistic different linguistic people of these countries there are so many different language speaking people in this audience itself now we should not have such a system that which will incite one section of the uh, people against another in terms of the language and the language policy should be such that it is not discriminatory it should give equal opportunities to all the languages and for the to develop so that all the languages they have the free scope for development and they can the all the branches of knowledge can be accessed through their mother tongue with these few words i congratulate all of you to who have assembled here for this convention and call upon you to build up strong resistance movements so that this disastrous policy of the government is revoked and they are not allowed to implement such a policy which will ruin the cultural life the educational life of the country thank you very much